Hi folks, Eugene here, and today we're going to do an unboxing, and I have my sweetheart with me. This is Marna. Hi everybody. And we are inside her yoga studio, where she does her online classes for her students, and today, like I said, we're going to do an unboxing, and this is a product that I've been looking at for how long? Two years long or so? Time. Yeah, for a while. It's just the cost, and I finally decided to break down and get it. I found a promo code uh, and saved a little bit of money. And we've wanted worms since for a couple years now. And we since had, we've been together. Yeah, so, yeah. And we had friends that decided they were going to get the hell out of the United States and move to Germany, and they gave us their worms. So we're going to transfer their worms into this bin. So what we got today is the Hungry Bin, as you can see. This is a product that's made overseas and is imported into the North America through Canada with a company called Green Tools. So it has not been opened, as you can see. It's still stapled together. My impression when I ordered this, I thought the body of this compost, comp, uh, worm compost farm was a one-piece mold. But when I saw the size of this box, I was like, it's a two-piece. It's got to be a two-piece. So, it, according to the tag on this, it weighs 27 pounds. Can you imagine? Sounds substantial. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts, sweetheart? I'm excited. You know, we've been uh, looking at and talking about and learning about worms and vermicomposting, and it seems like there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. It's not just you keep worms and it all works, right? There's an art, there's a skill, there's a learning curve, and so... Just like anything. Just like anything and everything. And so I'm excited to have a piece of equipment, um, maybe community members to talk with about sharing and you know how to use the equipment well mm -hmm. and um, really helping ourselves have the kind of vermicomposting operation that we want for our small homestead yeah i know this is a bee channel mr z's bees and of course it's not bee equipment but in a roundabout way it's kind of it does help the bees but it also helps the plants well, the plants help the bees, and the bees help the plants. Of course. And the worms help the soil, and the soil helps the bees. So why not do a video on this? Exactly. So my idea is to do an unboxing. I don't know if I'm going to put it together <laughs> on, on film unless it's really simple. Uh, I'm sure it's not that bad of a process to get this put together. But I'm going to do like follow-up videos of the process or... Like every few months, check in and see how the worms are doing. Maybe do a, a video of my thoughts or our thoughts mm -hmm. of was the cost of this mm -hmm. beneficial to what it's, what it's doing. Yeah. I mean, because if you look on Amazon or anywhere on the web, there's all these different types of mm -hmm. worm farms. Yeah. And I don't want to deal with the trays. I work a lot of hours. I hear it from you, honey, you need to be home more. And between my bees, my trucking job, and all the things that I'm doing around here with the, the urban farm and all We the were looking for a way to make our worm vermicomposting operation as easy and mess-free and kind of streamlined and like kind of polite, as polite as possible. Like, yeah. Yeah, so... So we'll see if it is that. So... And we'll let you know. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I mean, were you expecting a bigger box with a one-piece mold like I was? No, because I hadn't researched it. I hadn't looked at pictures. I had... I was just like, you know, we've, we've had a friend who does... Has done her worms in a small... Like, recycle bin. Recycle bin. And like, like a little, like a plastic box with like holes. So I'm aware that... The, the worm composting skill and operation is about the function rather than how it's made, right? It's not like one particular, like we don't need this particular tool, tool to be successful 
so I'm just excited to see what it looks like and how this iteration accomplishes the goals of vermicomposting. Yeah. Yeah, because I have an old, like, garbage can that they were switching out for new ones, and it's an older one. They and were going to retire it. They were going to, yeah, retire it. And I, I asked the guy, what are you going to do with all those? Can I have one? He goes, yeah, take it. So I was going to make one of these out of that. I still probably will because... We might have two. Yeah. And see how they do. Maybe it'll be like a vermicomposting competition. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. We'll but we might get so many worms out of this eventually that... We might gonna, want to. We're going to have to... And my understanding is part of the benefit of having two is that... Then, and like thriving is that you can do slightly different things. You can do a little bit of experimentation, right? And that also you can actually help have the worms help you digest more of the food scraps. So yeah. that might be attractive at some point. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Then, who knows? So let's just get into this and see how it looks. You want to grab that side? Oh, or boy. You want to... This is actually stapled with big staples <sighs> to hold it all together instead cool. of tape or glue. I mean, I could put my hand in here. But yeah, bottom and top, so... Let's see what happens here. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh. So. Oy. so. Very nice top cardboard piece. Yep. Yeah. Well, the top looks like a trash can cart. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm appreciating about this cardboard is it, it doesn't seem to have a lot of um, print. print or tape. So this will actually get uh, upcycled sheet mulch. to sheet mulch in a really nice carbon cycle. So yay for the company choosing to package it in this form. Yeah, because the staples will be easy to pull out. Totally. And, Much easier and less wasteful than tape. And we still have... Less the, toxic. We still have the corner we have to sheet mulch. Yes, at exactly. some point. We can use this. So, you want to grab that side? You have the handles. Oh boy. So, let's pull this out. So, as we can see, yep, it's a two piece mold. And down there is the, the legs. Actually, it looks like it might go together reasonably. This looks like a piece of exercise equipment. Bar, barbells? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I can see that we are going to need some tools. Okay. So,. You want to spin it? Yeah, let's spin it. Good, good idea. So, it looks like pretty rugged plastic. Maybe a little thicker than trash can carts. Yeah. Feel. Just maybe oh, yeah. a hair yeah. a, this a is thickener, thicker. Yeah, this is a better quality. Plastic. Plastic, yeah. yeah. So, it has a, a, a latch here. Mm -hmm. So, you pull it up. Then it comes up. Mm. Then before we open it up, yeah. it has holes here in the top. They're kind of small, and from all my research that I've been looking at, a lot of like the lectures I've listened to, mm -hmm. they say put holes in the side. Mm -hmm. That way, the sunlight and the rain don't fall through because you don't right. want a whole right. lot. But I mean, if you look. It is a little flat, but it also bevels a little. Here's another question that occurs to me as we're unboxing. And, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, let's not get into it right now because we want to honor the amount of time available for the video. Of course. But um, to ask, like, hey, is this BPA-free? I'm sure it might say it on here. Yeah. I'm sure it is, food grade at least. Sure. But BPA, phthalates, okay. that's not stuff we want in our soil. That's fair. Fair question. Fair, no, no, that's a fair question. Yeah. So, um... But I'm sure there will be a symbol on here, or maybe... Or we'll we, ask somebody. Or we're going to look in the web page. Web, web page. Yeah. yeah. So pull that latch just a little. Oh, so easy. it stays... That way the raccoons don't get in here. Or, yeah. No, human hand. Yeah. So as you can see the... I don't know if you can see the holes this far away. That's I mean, nice. Those yeah. are small. Yeah, they're small. All right. So do you want to... Sure. There you go. Oh. Oh, it looks like it may come with some tools there. I see. Well, those are the latches. Okay. Well, the bottom panel. Okay. I can already tell what those are. Then we have a, a key. Yeah. That's okay. Yay. That's for yay. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead and open that and see if there's instructions or I'll let you do that. Oh, boy. Little... Then I will take the one latch. I if there's a little. So, there's a latch here that holds the bottom tray on the bottom. Tool in the course. Um, oh, 
Hungry Bin, owner's manual. There he you go. He looks kind. I don't think he's going to try to poison us. And I'll open this one here and see what this is while she's doing that. Wow, this is nice. This is thoughtful. And it looks like there's two. Oh, good. Maybe two different. Well, this is a four four language. Okay. Um, what does your say? It English. Says, it says owner's manual. That's English. And, and assembly instructions. So the that'll be nice so and helpful. So two different languages. Great. What? Manuel de Usario. Yep. And, this and then is, what's this one? That's the second one. That you're holding. Oh, okay. So, so both Spanish, maybe? Well, I don't speak Spanish. That's the thing I wish yeah. I would have done. It's a language that we're not. But it looks like sure maybe about. another another one. Yeah, two different. It ain't French. Okay. Well, so I do know this is the the bottom pan because it has a hole for liquid to fall through. Great. And this is the catch pan that goes on the bottom. Ooh. So. And then there's floor. But. We also have the <gasps> bottom. What? So, looks like this just kind of snaps together. Okay. Honestly. Fabulous. So. Exciting. Do so, you want to try to assemble it in this video or maybe a different video? Let's, no folks, I'm going to assemble this and give you my honest opinion how easy it was or how long it took. Maybe yeah, break it might out take the, a while. Maybe break out the timer. Yeah. It might just go together within five minutes. It might. And I don't want to bore you all, have you watch me put this together. But, I mean, feel the inside on how much rough. It's, it's not as smooth as the outside. Yeah. So, I mean, this is kind of like a, a big funnel. Yeah. Hi, can you hear me better? So. Hello! Yeah, kind of an echo chamber. But, I mean, it's smoother down here as well. So, this might... Yeah, we'll just put it together and see how, how it goes. Yeah. We, we won't bore you all. So thanks for joining us for the unboxing. That yeah. was exciting. And I will talk to this company about maybe getting a promo code. Okay. That way people can save a little bit of money yeah. as well. So if you're watching this, uh, if we're able to get a promo code, we'll post it somewhere around this video. Yeah, and so. we'll bring up uh, some more videos in the near future of this product of our thoughts and keep you updated with how we're going with our little homestead yeah our, our urban farm with all the bees and the chickens the chickens are almost ready to lay eggs here pretty quick super exciting and uh the pasture we have uh, four runs so that way they get grass we're and doing alfalfa uh, yeah yeah we're doing holistic management style with our chickens yeah. super exciting if that's what you want to call it i call it something else but <laughs> two different ways of looking at tomato tomato yeah so Everyone, I hope all is going well in this crazy times that we're living. Um, we're doing this in the evening here in the house because it's smoky out with all the fires here in Northern California. And and we're just about out of time. Yeah, so, so I hope everyone's doing well. and uh, Stay safe. Yeah, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Till next time. Hit the pause, baby. Thanks for joining us.